Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you the vlogging setup that Sal and I have been using, some of the items we've been using for a few years, and some of them are kind of new. But we're gonna start with the backpack. This backpack I've had for about three years and it's by Vanguard. I really love this bag. It's, you know, weatherproof, really durable. It's been all over the world with me. And I am not gentle with this backpack. I have actually put it through the ringer. I throw it on the floor, throw it in the overhead bin. I love that it's this brown color. So it doesn't look like a regular camera bag. It kind of just looks a little more casual. So I like that. Let's just go ahead and start with the outside of it. So the first thing here is the zipper on the side that holds the laptop. So I can easy, easily fit my MacBook Pro and there's plenty of room. So you could probably fit a bigger laptop in there as well. And actually the other nice part about this bag is that it has this strap here. So if you are uh, using a rolling bag or rolling luggage, then you could slide this over that part of your luggage. So this is really handy to have there as well. And it's nice and padded here on the back. And as you'll see here, it is the Havana 48. So they have these pockets and there's one on each side. I like having those pockets. They're big, deep pockets. So over here, I'll probably have like a water bottle or if I do need to have my full size tripod folded down, it actually fits in here. And then I usually put a strap and tie it to these loops on the side. So these loops come in really handy. Um, you can clip stuff or tie stuff to them here. And so that's what I put there. On the other side, so here's the other side, the other uh, pocket. And so I'll usually have my selfie sticks. So this one is a little bit more heavy duty. This one will hold my full size camera. This one I usually use for my phone and I like this one because it's also a battery charger. Sal and I actually do use our phones a lot for vlogging. Um, sometimes it's just the fastest thing to pull out and use to record or the easiest thing. So Sal has the iPhone uh, 11 and that, that phone has a really good camera and so he'll use that. And I recently just got the iPhone 12 Pro and so of course that one also works really well. And I'm actually using my phone right now. That's the phone, that's what I'm using to take this overhead shot. So you've been using it in this video. This pocket here, I have my camera strap. This is a Peak Design camera strap. And then this is the Peak Design wrist strap. <clears throat> and then I'll have just cleaning stuff in here, cleaning the lenses and stuff. And I think for now that's all I have. So that's usually what's in there. It's a really big pocket, so you can fit a lot of stuff. I have filled this bag like to the brim before where, I mean, it looks like it's holding way more than it should. It also has this handy little clip. So if you do want to attach your keys so you know that your keys won't get lost, that's cool to have there. It does come with a ring cover. So that is also handy. Okay, on this top one. Another good size pocket here. So here I'll have my ND filter. So this is the free will ND filter. This one I got recently and I'm really enjoying this. I like that it has the magnetic cover. And extra batteries. So I usually have the extra batteries up there. So that way they're easily accessible. So when one runs out, I know I can just reach into that front pocket to get them. Hand sanitizer, gotta have that now. And that's all in there. So of course we have the main camera pouch in here. And so there's a cube in here. So that's nice, this is padded and it has a Velcro. I'm sure you just heard that to attach it to make sure to hold it in place. And so as of recently, what I've been using for the vlogs is the Sony A7. I picked this up just a few months ago and I actually only have one lens for this camera, which is kind of good because I don't have to worry about carrying extra lenses. I'm not always thinking about which lens to use. I have one option and it makes my setup pretty simple. So I used to use, and I still do, I'm actually using it right now, the GH5. So the GH5 is what I was using for the last two and a half years up until I got just got the Sony. Um, the GH5 is a great camera as well. 
There's a few things that I miss from the GH5. Um, I won't go into all the differences in this video, but what I will say is the main reason that I ended up going with the Sony and the reason I use this one now for the vlogs is that I can also use it for photos. And so this is more of a hybrid camera. I only need to have one camera to do both video and photos. Um, the Sony just takes better photos because it's a full frame camera versus the GH5 is a micro four thirds camera. This Sony doesn't have a flip out screen. It only tilts. So I was kind of concerned about that because a lot of people you'll hear them say like, oh, you gotta have the flip out screen for vlogging. That flip out screen really does help a lot. But um, I find that I'm not missing that too much with this camera because usually it's me and Sal together doing the vlog. So if he's holding the camera for me, recording me, he can help frame or if I'm recording him, then I can see the screen and frame him up. If we're gonna be both in the video, you know, still holding it out like this, it's not a problem. Honestly, I just focus, point the middle of the lens towards us and that usually works out and it's pretty good. So that hasn't been too much of an issue. And so the autofocus on the Sony is just way more reliable. And so when I can't see myself and I'm filming myself or both me and Sal, I at least know that it'll be in focus. Whereas the GH5 was hit or miss. The lens I have is the Sigma 24 to 70. I chose to get that lens first because it's a really sharp lens, high quality. And um, I just figured if I'm using it for photos, I wanted to have a good lens for that as well. I used 24 for the wide angle to get both of us. It's wide enough. I could, you know, I, eventually I wanna get a little bit of a wider lens, but uh, for now that works. And then going up to the 70 um, works for photos or portraits. So there's plenty of space in here to put stuff. But since that's all I have, that fits perfectly in there. And then I will carry a backup microphone. So this is the Comica mic. It's similar to the Rode mic uh, Go, I believe. But I like this one that this part is smaller. The Rode one is a little bit bulkier and it sounds great, at least to me it does. And then in here is the top half. So there's a lot of space in here to put more accessories, or you can even put clothes in here, which I have put clothes. If we're out and about and we think it might rain, Sal and I will sometimes fit our raincoats in here. So having all this space is really handy. Um, these are from another backpack, these pouches, but I really love these pouches because of the clear part on top. And I like to keep everything organized instead of digging all around. In this one, I have the GoPro. So I have the GoPro Hero 7 and it works great. Um, at this point, I don't feel the need to upgrade because this GoPro still does what I need. We use this one if we're gonna be vlogging uh, while we're hiking or vlogging while we're on a scooter. When we were in Thailand, we were riding around in the scooter a lot and so the GoPro was perfect for that. Um, you know, I never dropped it, but you know, it was definitely easier to hold a GoPro than holding a, a camera or my phone. I didn't want to drop my phone. I'll keep just extra attachments in here. Sal isn't as comfortable with using the cameras. Um, he doesn't like to mess with the camera settings and stuff. So he likes that the GoPro, all you gotta do is point. You're probably in frame. You know, you're gonna get a lot of it in frame because it's a wide angle. And um, you know, the settings are automatic for the most part. Um, you know, I have it set to some certain settings, but once that's there, he doesn't have to mess with anything. It's point and shoot basically for him. The GoPro is small enough to just be more subtle. The case that I have on here is by Ulanzi and I like this case because it holds the microphone adapter. So in order to hook up a mic to the GoPro, you gotta have this adapter. And so I like that it holds everything nice and tidy. So in this pouch, I carry my portable hard drives. Again, just keeping everything organized. And this is for the MacBook, um, you know, the dongle to do regular USB and stuff like that. But for editing, when I'm editing off my computer, I edit off of these, these Samsung SSD drives because they're faster. I have another one that I just use to back up my footage and dump the footage on here. And then I'll, whatever project I'm actually gonna work on, then I'll work on it off of this one. But as far as backups, that goes into one of these. Oh, and so these though, so 
I said I preferred the other mic over the Rode mic, but these Rode mics are my new favorite. So I'm not using them now so that I can show them to you. I'm using an older uh, mic right now. But these are my go-to wireless mics. I love how small they are. And you can attach a microphone, um, a lav mic if you want, or use it like that. And most of the time, I just use the block um, and I clip it on here like that. You know, for the vlogs, especially like a daily vlog, you know, I'm not too worried about this showing. I'm worried more about just getting the footage and getting it fast and easy. And so this is fast and easy to use and it's small. And I mean, it all fits in this little pouch. I always have this case with extra SD cards. I have plenty of those because it's happened to me before where um, I've run out of space because I used to only carry like two. I ran out of space on one. I thought that I had dumped the footage onto my portable drive and deleted everything. Turns out I didn't back it up. So I had lost the footage, all the footage from a day on that card. So now I carry multiple SD cards. So that way, if I don't have to, I don't clear them. Um, that way it's still on my portable drive. It's here as a backup. And I, I wait till the very last second before formatting. I am now just traumatized by that. And I'm always afraid of formatting cards and I'll triple check that I actually do have a backup of all that footage before formatting. It does have like these spaces here to hold pens or anything like that. And it does have this pouch. Now it, it looks like this pouch, they intended it to be for SD cards, but I like to hold them in that case. So in here, I just carry any small stuff. My um, AirPods fit perfectly in there. Now that I've taken everything out of the bag, I'll show you what each vlogging setup looks like. I'm gonna put this down to make some space. The first setup I'll show you is the main camera setup with the Sony a7 III. I would use the stronger tripod handle for this one. And that attaches there. Tighten it up. This, you would hold it like that. But if I'm gonna use a microphone, which if I'm vlogging, I probably will be. And let's say I'm gonna use my wireless Rode mics. I would slide this. So these have this little clippy on the bottom. That just slides in there really easy. And you would attach one of these wires there. And of course you would also plug it in there. So this would be the mic and you can attach a lav mic to it if you'd like, but usually if I'm out and about just vlogging, I just clip this inside like that and it's ready to go. And I like that, you know, this is more of a flat profile. You don't have a big mic sticking at the top and boom, you're good. Now with the wireless mic, it's a better setup if you're vlogging by yourself. If it's two people, you know, you, this Rode mic does not allow for two uh, mics or two receivers. So you would need to do a different microphone. In that case, maybe you do one of these and then it would get the audio from both people. However, sometimes what Sal and I do is we share this one. So, you know, I'll have it and then he'll put it on if he needs to talk or we'll just hold it in our hands and that works too. But yeah, this setup is good to go. And you know, this handle is strong enough to hold up the camera with this big lens. Um, this is a heavier setup. So, you know, my arm will get tired eventually. <laughs> the next one I'll show you is the iPhone setup. So I have the iPhone 12 and I would put that on the phone holder. You know, these you can get anywhere, but I happen to have the Ulanzi phone holder. So I would attach that here. And this is the Ulanzi handle with the bottom tripod attachment. So all these pieces come separate. This handle is sold by itself and then you gotta put, get your own um, phone holder. And then if you choose to, you can get this one. And all these parts are made by Ulanzi. I just chose to get it all at once. So that would be our vlogging setup. Now, we prefer to use the cameras on the back. That's gonna look the best now. You can have it here or facing the other way. But we actually prefer to vlog with the rear cameras because those are gonna look the best instead of having it in selfie mode. I mean, it's convenient because you can see yourself, but the front camera is not gonna look as good. Also, um, I like to use the wide camera. So when it's both me and Sal and we're vlogging together, 
I like to use the wide angle camera on the iPhone because we get more in the environment and we can make sure that both of us are in the screen. The iPhone audio is pretty decent. You can get away without having a microphone, but if you really wanna have a better audio, more clean audio, there's a, a cold shoe up there and you can easily attach the Rode mics. Again, I love these Rode mics just because they're so low profile. It doesn't add any extra to the setup. You need to have the correct uh, wire. I have it, but I don't have it here on the desk. So make sure you have the right one that would connect from here to your phone. And then you would just put this on and you're good to go. So this would be the iPhone setup. This is Sal's preference right here. And the last setup that I'll show you guys would be with the GoPro. So what I would do is I would actually just take off the phone part. And because it has the screw there, and I have the right attachment on here, all I gotta do is screw it on like that. And that's good to go. So this would be our GoPro vlogging setup, just like that. Very easy to switch between the phone and the GoPro. So it also has the attachment to be able to put something on there. So just screw it on. Make sure you have your wire all plugged in. And you're good to go. And we used this setup for a long time before getting the wireless mics. And you know, this isn't too bad. And you can easily get audio from two people if, if it's more than one person vlogging. It is convenient sometimes to just have a shotgun mic and it's easier to pick up, you know, the environment audio. And like I said, if you have more than one person talking. The GoPro has a good stabilization and so does the phone. The stabilization on the Sony is okay. That's actually one of the big things that I miss from my GH5. The GH5 had amazing in-body stabilization, especially if you combine that with the lens. Um, the Sony is a, does have it, but it's just not as good. Anyway, I digress. And <laughs> those are our three setups for vlogging. Um, just depends on what we're doing. And sometimes it just, what's the easiest thing to get? Sometimes it's the phone, a lot of times it's the phone and it works just fine because I think it's just better to get the shot, it's just better to get the footage instead of just worrying about it uh, looking the best or using the best camera. Um, and maybe the phone is all you have and that's okay too. It took me a long time to accept that though. <laughs> that's why I'm telling you. For a long time, um, I felt like I had to use the better camera but then I was wasting a lot of time trying to get it set up if I wasn't, if I didn't have it ready. Or because it is bigger, sometimes I felt a little more shy, a little more embarrassed if we were gonna be inside, you know, of a business or if it was a smaller space. You know, I just felt more intrusive walking around with this big thing versus a phone where everybody's used to seeing people with a phone because you could just be posting to like Instagram or Facebook or whatever, nobody really cares. Um, so yeah, hopefully that uh, helps you guys out and gives you some ideas if you want to start blogging or get some gear of your own. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer those questions. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.